Hi, welcome back. Now that we're all set, we can start our journey into DSLR photography by learning about one of the most important pieces of equipment in DSLR photography, which is called as a lens of the DSLR camera. Now, a lens of a DSLR camera is very, very important. And there are three important features or aspects of the lens which make it very, very vital. And in this section, we'll be looking at all these three aspects. So let's look at the first aspect which makes the lens so important to photography. One of the key features in a DSLR with respect to the lens is that you can attach and detach any kind of lens on a DSLR body. Later on in this video, we'll be seeing why this is very important. But first, let's learn how to attach and detach a lens. If you keep your camera in such a way that the lens is facing you, you will find the lens removal button on the right side of the lens. This button can be pressed. And once you press this, you can actually rotate the lens. Once you rotate the lens, you can actually remove it. Now when you're putting the lens back on, you will see a white dot on the lens and a white dot on the rim of the mount. When you're putting them back, make sure both these white dots are matching. That's the starting point. Once that's the case, just rotate the lens back till you hear a click. This click means that the lens is now locked and there's no danger of it falling down. So now that you know that you can attach different types of lenses to the same camera body, let's see what are the advantages of doing so. Now let's say you want to capture a really wide angle landscape shot like this. In order to do so, what you can just do is, you can change over from your kit lens to something called as a wide angle lens. A wide angle lens is usually used for landscape photography or any type of photography in which you need a wider view. Now let's say you want to capture a squirrel like this which is very far away from you. This is a typical wildlife shot. Now for this you need something called as a telephoto lens which is again something that we'll be seeing later on. Now let's say you want to capture something, a close shot like of this flower. Now this requires, if you want to capture all the nice details of this flower just like you can see in this shot, you need to use a macro lens. A macro lens allows you to shoot something that is very small and still capture the details of it. So don't worry, if you're not understanding the names of these lenses, we'll soon be going much more deeper into what a lens is and why they're named in different ways. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.